All right, it's soon going to be that time of year when you step outside and you feel that crisp in the air. In Worcester County, that means it's time for fall fun. 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus stopped by to see our friends at the Worcester County Department of Recreation and Parks to get a peek at some of those programs that your family can participate in this fall. You know, amidst COVID-19, a lot of different programs have been shut down. A lot of them have been postponed, but periodically I get to come down to Worcester County Recreation Center where they have an ever evolving list of fun activities for kids of all ages. So here I am yet again, and I'm joined by program manager. This is Kelly Buchanan. Kelly, how are you? Great. So we're here. I mean, the, the center is open and uh, there, there's some new programs that are happening, right? Yes. So what are we looking at? We have, um, we're really excited about a new program that we're offering for kids grades K through 8. Um, it's called PLAY. It's an acronym for Planned Leisure Activities for Youth. It will be from 3 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, and it's a great, um, a great chance for the children to get out and play and get some PE experience and socialization since they're going to be in virtual school all day. So what made you think, I mean, that's a great idea because with kids staring at a computer screen, you guys realize they need that interaction. They need that play time. Right, that outlet, definitely. Um, this summer we ran camps and we're very successful with our summer camps, had a great attendance and we're going to mirror that and continue to continue to run those programs. You know, we're out here on a beautiful day, and you mentioned uh, when we were talking earlier, field hockey. Yes. Talk to me about that. We are. We're excited um, to offer field hockey for youth, kindergarten through eighth grade. This will be the first time we're offering it in Worcester County. Please get online and register, and we're excited to be offering that new program in the county. Fantastic. What else do we have going on? Anything else? What else? Yes. We have pop-up programs. We ran those all summer, and we're going to continue those in September and October, and we will have a pop-up program every other Friday. Um, we're going to do things like family paint, pumpkin painting night. We're doing family paint night. We have a studio coming and hosting a family paint night. And all of those activities are free. But it's first come, first serve, so we need to get make sure you get registered for that. We only take the first 50 families. And that's one of the, the things that I like about coming down here is that you want to keep kids active. You want to keep kids outside and just to keep them engaged. So thank you for, thank you. for doing your part in that. Thank you. We love it. And also here with me today is program manager, or as I like to call him, the new guy. This is Alan Swiger. How are you settling in, man? I'm, I'm good. Happy to be here still. You still have that big smile since the first time I talked to you here. It's, you still got it. We do fun stuff, man. It's hard not to be happy down here. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of fun stuff, you, you were telling me about a golf tournament, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have our eighth annual Tee Off for the Youth Golf Tournament happening um, October 2nd. Uh, down at Ocean City Cl uh, Golf Club. You know, it's a sad thing, but about a third of the kids that participate in all of our programming need some financial assistance throughout the year. Um, we have a very stern goal of saying we're never turning kids away. Sure. We're going to get again, we're going to get them playing and having a good time. So this fundraiser is kind of that key uh, mark throughout the year to really, really help raise those funds uh, to be able to get everybody, you know, enjoying the program. Sure. So not only do the kids need a little bit of help, but you guys, I mean, as we heard Kelly talk about earlier, you have pop-up programs that are free. Yeah. And they do cost money. Right, so, <laughs> right, So this right. would be a way to help. Yeah, it, absolutely. I mean, the focus is kids for this. Uh, it's geared directly towards those programming. So... Um, you know, we have a lofty goal of raising around $10,000 for the year, um, but that requires teams. We need people to play. Sure. Um, you know, we do have some sponsorship opportunities if anybody is interested at, uh, you know, marketing to get your name out there. Uh, we do some social media marketing. We'll have some T-signs. We have some different giveaways and prizes that we do. So all of that goes right back to that pool to help the kids. Now, if I know Delmarva at all, I know that they want to help other Delmarva establishments. Yeah. So how is it that we could get involved? Yeah, so if you go to worshipreckonparks.com, uh, you're going to see a link for the tee off for the youth. Uh, there's a form on there to fill out. Um, easiest thing, just reach out to us. Give us a call. Fantastic. So when is, when is the date again for the It's tournament? October 2nd, um, and it's at the Ocean City Golf Club. All right, fantastic. Alan, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us. Yeah. And uh, folks, get your clubs out. Get your hats on. Get your, get your spikes on, because that's the feeling what I'm going to be doing as well. Back to you guys. So what program or programs sparked your interest? Would you like some more information on it? It's all available at your fingertips, delmarvalife.com. Just click on what's happening today. We've got plenty more Delmarva Life in store for you.